Well, well, motherfucking well. Oh, now it's not funny. Oh, now it's not funny. It's not funny, America. It was funny six months ago. You defended him. All of the Will Smith haters, you told him it was just a joke. When we argued, he was a disrespectful motherfucker who was purposely picking on Jada Pinkett Smith. He knew about her issue. He told the joke anyway because he's a disrespectful clown-ass nigga. I ain't even introduced myself. Let me go ahead. If you don't know who I am, too raw for sports. Well, on this channel, too raw for TV. But we told you this about him. Now you're mad. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, in a show yesterday in Phoenix, he told a joke to the audience that coming back to host the 2023 Oscars would be like asking Nicole Brown Simpson to go back to the restaurant where she ate before she was murdered back in 1994. I don't know the joke. I didn't listen to it. Um, it might be humorous in some form, even though it's kind of warped and perverse. But I have to ask people who all of a sudden are saying, huh, they did a complete 180 now. They're saying uh, Chris Rock is doing nothing but showing us exactly why Will slapped the taste out of his mouth. Looks like Chris could use a couple of more, honestly. Uh, Chris Rock is not a good person and says very slappable things very often. Like Chris Rock opens his mouth and instantly the slap not only makes sense, but seems like it wasn't enough. I love how Chris Rock continues to prove how that slap was warranted. Will Smith wasn't wrong at all. Well, geez, golly, geez, Bella. You, know, you probably weren't saying that six months ago. Now he's being accused of being misogynistic. So which one is it? Cracking a joke about a white woman is misogynistic, but defending your black wife and protecting her in a time of emotional trauma to her, that's still misogynistic? So I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck do you want, America? Do you want a man that's going to be out there and protect his woman? I don't give a fuck about all that other shit that we talk about with Will Smith. At the end of the day, that's still the mother of his children. They're still married. We can call him a simp. We can call him all this other bullshit. That's still his fucking wife. He defended her. It came out of him. He had been holding back for years. A lot of this shit people just say disrespectful about him and his wife and his family. And Chris Rock has had a long history of being disrespectful toward Jada Pinkett. Going back to the 1990s. Tom uh, Talbiz has, has done the videos uh, talking about that. So this is a long history. Yes, for the first time in 30 years, Will Smith showed that he was not perfect. And we all pounced on him. And we all tried to, not me, but collectively as a country. There was some people like me and others who supported Will Smith. We saw that what he did wasn't right, but it was understandable. But everybody wanted to tear him apart. And now... Looky, looky, six months later, Will Smith is standing strong, tall, getting $30, $40 million deals. His career continues. Who gives a fuck about the fact that he can't go to an Oscar ceremony for 10 years? He can still win Oscars. He just can't accept them, but I still can take them. He can shove them his ass. <laughs> but Chris Rock already done fucked up. Yeah, you thought they loved you, didn't you, Chris? You thought they loved you, Chris. They don't love you, motherfucker. You was just a lesser of two Negroes on that day, you punk bitch. Now, nobody respects you. They don't respect your ass. And don't come running to a motherfucker like me.
So all I'm saying is the people who were saying that it was just jokes and Will needed to get over it, keep that same energy with this situation. It was just a joke, right? I mean, you got to defend the pulpit of the comic. It was just a joke. Don't switch up now because he went after a white woman. Well, it was a poor taste. Well, the, I'd appreciate the joke was in poor taste from my pr perspective. But who's to say what's in, what's in poor taste and what isn't? I've left a lot of jokes that were in poor, that were in poor taste because it was still kind of funny. So all I'm saying is just keep the same energy. And um, once again, in the long run, people like myself have been proven correct. Chris Smith is, uh, excuse me, uh, Chris Rock is a piece of fucking shit. It's in his DNA. That's why his movies don't do shit. He ain't no fucking movie star. I think the highest grossing movie he ever appeared in was probably, um, shit. Damn, has he ever been in a movie that did well? Maybe. Uh, well, I wouldn't even say he starred in any of the Beverly Hills movie. Beverly Hills Cop movies. He just had token appearances. Maybe Lethal Weapon 4. That's probably like the highest grossing movie that he ever appeared in where he had a significant role. Other than that, all his movies, straight to video shits. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it, man. <laughs> that's all I got to say about it, man. Like Chris, Chris, Chris Rock, he's been doing this shit. 